I'm back. So, uh, basically what I was trying to say there, it sounded like it was in a sort of basic sense, um, like a strength versus dex competition against their uh, vitality and uh, strength, I think? Something like that. And yeah, next massive enemy turns, I'll go pull it up. Feed you up. And crossbow rogues are just the best. There it is. And the luck damage calculator. And this one come with a guide. Darn it, the other one had a guide to it. Or it's still loading. Come on. <laughs> That's weird. Huh. Yeah, for some reason I, I I can't find the guide I was looking for. To explain what it was. But yeah, apparently it's like a friggin' 16 step process or whatever to actually calculate damage. So that's a little bit nuts. Also, that was probably a waste of MP, but she's not running out anytime soon anyway. Also, I guess I'll just leave uh, Denim on autopilot here since he's basically doing what I would have done with him anyway. But just just to run up and completely dominate stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the same thing. Why is it? Darn it. Let me turn on the priorities here. Oh my god, Google Drive, what is your deal? That wasn't even the emulator's fault, too. Um, for whatever bizarre reason, um, opening up that damage calculator, whether it's the fault of some weird calculation thing, or whether it's the, you know, the fault of Google Drive or whatever, that mess is... Like, it just destroys my phone. It actually caused it to completely overheat, crash, and then just flat out die when I tried to hold it up for more than a couple seconds uh, yesterday. And then it, uh, yeah, I just don't want to have this dragon running away. And then it caused, um, that lag I was just showing here. It basically just stopped. Who knows? Kind of feels like a lot of Google stuff's going janky lately, so I'm gonna say it's probably that. Feels like a good avalanche. Oh wow, that is some this poor damage you've got there, Ace. Or we should go for a debuff, but whatever. I have to say, Ace has dropped off like a dang brick ever since he's been corrected from his previous overpowered stats. Still not 100% sure what actually causes that. But uh, well. mm. who? Eh, screw it. Let's get more dragons elsewhere. Get rid of you. Ooh, a shiny new strength card. Mm. Oh yeah, so long story short. I mean the the way that I found it easier to think of is yeah, this Weapon damage is just armor penetration. That's the easiest way I found to think of it. It's not always true, but it's kind of that way. Actually, looking back through old forum posts, it almost looks like it took from 2012 to 2016, possibly up to 2017, to actually crack the damage code there. Might explain why it took so long for uh, mods to happen. But I don't know. What do I know? I just play the dang thing. Thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm to get a shot on him. Okay, that'll work. And you're probably gonna go for an attack here. 
more TP. Air damage and zero TP, that sounds good right about there. He's probably gonna go from a thief. Slash rogue. Whatever. My crossbow pirate. There we go. So, I'm very close to doing the, um, a fun tactics videos I was gonna do. Uh, what I really wanted was to have everybody balanced out to about level 30-ish. Um, so far I've gotten most of the classes up there. Especially, um, uh, Canopus is already up there. Uh, I believe Tammuz is already up there. That's why they're not in the party right now. Uh, a few of the others are as well. Right, what can I use? Mm -hmm. Yeah, her, um... While keeping the Vaporizer in hand, her Draconic stuff sucks, but her, uh... Her regulars are pretty darn good. And that's mostly just because Draconics are based off weapon damage, which is pretty much entirely piss poor in this case. <clears throat> that thing's sweet. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. I, um... I mentioned a few times before, you know, been going back and forth between the two different versions to see what's different, what's, you know, new, what I'm remembering wrong, that kind of thing. So, I, um, I'm at about this point in, um, uh, and the other one is in the original game as well. Man, I forgot how friggin' overpowered some of these moves became. Namely, the, uh, friggin', uh, multi-hit moves. The... <laughs> Oops, that is not what I meant to do. I meant to have him heal uh, Jill over there. Yeah, I, for I forget its uh, name right now, but the uh, the spear move that's just a triple hit. Nothing survives that. <laughs> There's just no beating it. Kind of absurd that anybody thought that was balanced. And the same thing goes for the gun one, too. They just had a few of them, but there's no reason to ever use anything else, because it's pretty much a delete button. Mm -hmm. Alright. Or... Do some more of that piss-poor ice damage, Ace. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the stuff. I mean, he's basically a frontline swordsman, not even friggin' mage at this point. Which is fine. Fine by me. Uh, Mind Blast, by the way. So far, the... by far best move for throwing people off cliffs. Ah, it's so satisfying. I, I hope I get a chance to show it this fight. <laughs> I'll probably just tabulate him. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if this damage calculator will cause my computer to destroy itself. Actually, it seems like I'm having a lot of bizarre glitches with stuff lately. I've, um, had my uh, video editing thing that destroyed my computer there with that weird clip. I had my laptop that's been freaking out over random things. I had my phone that's been freaking out over random things. I had my car run into some bizarre electrical grounding issue in which it couldn't start. Mostly because apparently a friggin' bee flew under the hood and decided to just eviscerate itself onto the on the battery somehow. Uh, apparently, just, just managed to kill itself, then basically spill its guts all over the place, and then apparently that combined together with the battery. I don't even. Uh, that's a little kettle of stupid. That friggin' bees everywhere. So there's basically these uh, these trees around there just dropping apples left and right. Not even specifically apples. I don't know what kind of weird fruit they are. They're sort of apple-looking. But uh, but yeah, so they're just dropping all over the place. And apparently these friggin' yellow jackets love to eat them. And oddly enough, they're omnivores. But so they're going around eating these things, and well, thing is, they're everywhere. So there's like maybe 10 to 20 bees every. I don't know, 
20 feet or so, just hanging out on this piece of fruit, which is all over the place, and the whole place is just one wide thing of, um, of different parking lots and whatnot. It's friggin' bee hell. But... Oh well. It's actually weird, because we have those giant cicada killer bees, we have, um... What are they? We have these, uh, yellow jackets, we had a few... A few of the harmless ones around, too. Which, to be fair, I guess cicada killers are completely harmless to people. Another thing. Actually, despite being friggin' huge, apparently the male cicada killers, uh, the... Like, giant two-inch long bees, yeah, they're actually harmless. Uh, the male ones can't even bite. And then the female ones can just sort of bite if they're extremely threatened, but they obviously wouldn't want to. Because they're not small and evasive, they're giant and crunchy and very squishable, so... Obviously, they don't want part of that. They don't want any part of that noise. They're like, yeah, somebody can just punch me out of the air and then I'm done. And naturally, they're gonna be more docile. Man, how is it that I'm completely burning away all my ranged units off camera here? Like, I'm basically just using casters and melee characters, and now my only ranged options are out-leveled. I should really stop doing that. Hmm. Oh well. They're just so good for uh, auto-grinding. Uh, pretty much what I was doing uh, was uh, setting up Denim as a lord with a, a pistol and spear. Which in this case, I uh, was using Longinus and the um, Petronel. So I was using him with those. Um, was using Canopus with that uh, cursed weapon and and a uh, aura dagger. I was using Sarah uh, with the um, I believe I had a fire bow on her. I forget which one it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the fire bow. Or no, 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 it was in the base game. I was using the fire bow on her. I uh, was using the percent or whatever it was. Whatever the white one. And then. Um, would just basically swap out the uh, the other one. But typically was uh, was using uh, what's her face um, Sarah uh, with her double crossbows, and then fifth slot I would put one of my my uh, more current ones, which is why Sestina's not here. Uh, she was being used for a while. Any dang ways. Point being, it was it was pretty efficient as far as wow. Really, fifteen. Now we're getting out of that. Whatever. <laughs> We're glad we went through all that effort. But, at any rate. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, Kashua became amazing. I get friggin' level 7 or 8 or whatever as soon as she was able to start tanking a hit. Um... It was just all over at that point. She started actually doing more damage than uh, some of the regular casters. So I think it's safe to say she's darn good. Uh, got some of the gimmick abilities for Deneb unlocked. What else? Mm. Oh yeah, since I got Tammuz, uh, Tammuz, he was the other one in the ranged party. So finally got a Pelum for him, and he's been pretty amazing since getting that. He would just fly around, chuck a couple spears, then do a stop on everyone. Everyone that he could, pretty much. Uh, from there, he would, uh, well, go around chucking some more spears. Canopus would go around pretty much one-shotting squishies with no problem. Oh, well, it was a pretty easy time. And that's almost the end of the fight. Anyone to run up and hit her, although she's gonna get mass healed now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far, yeah, not uh, not terribly excited over the lich. Hopefully that'll change. We'll see how that, how it all goes. Really, I just wanted to uh, get this one out of the way, kind of use the lower-leveled guys, maybe balance them up a little bit. 
And uh, yeah, just do so before the whole 30 gap thing, because I remember flying right the hell up in levels as soon as this point came up. So I'm really expecting these fortresses to give a lot of XP then. Um, as per usual, it's you gotta do the pirate fights in each one, so I'm just gonna do the, this one, probably just off-screen the rest. Um, since, again, there's like eight friggin' pirate fights, and then you go through all those, and then you go get the cutscene about uh, the Apocrypha, and Old Man Winter's there, just, uh, you want the cool Apocalypse stuff, and then you have the option to say no, I, I, I think it's too good, and then you don't get them, and then you have to do the whole process all over again, because you decided to tell the guy you don't want your awesome friggin' Apocalypse abilities. So yeah, you know. Now, as I understand, the main option, uh, the main reason for that option being there is your Chaos Frame. According to what I've read and all that, uh, as long as you select that option, your Chaos Frame changes and some opinions in the party change. And You know, if, um, if and when that uh, uh, Hardcore Mode option happens, I'm hoping there will be some way to actually make some of those matter. Because that's that's one thing I really, really wanted to see. You know, it's it, it's a cool thing that all of these choices can affect, you know, like, you end up going and saying, hey, you know, I want to use this stuff that you clearly stated just and en almost ended the world before. So, yeah, you know, some people, like, presumably, some of your more quote-unquote noble characters or whatever, like, let's say, you, you know, Casual would probably be around, maybe the sisters might be around, at least Olivia would be, you know, they would at least know what that thing entailed, really. And presumably, you know, for the for the sake of, you know, I don't even know what you'd call it at this point, but let's say operational integrity, he probably wouldn't be going to all of the soldiers and saying, hey, you know, we're gonna go hack all these fortresses and get this sweet apocalypse magical stuff. But, you know... I'm pretty sure a few of the party members would actually know. I mean, it's nothing to do with nationality, so presumably none of the generics would be affected. But the sisters should be, you know, again, probably Casual would be around at that point, but she'd probably be okay with it because she can learn it. Um, I just would figure the, figure the uh, sisters would be scared by that kind of thing. Uh, who else? I mean, presumably if Bayon's there, he might have heard about it. Although, I guess Bayon takes enough uh, loyalty hits or whatever to... Actually, no, there's only like two or three points, and it... Well, at most is like 10%, I think, so... No. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, he might know. Um, Aurelius might know. That sort of thing. So it would just be cool, you know? It would be cool to actually see loyalty and desertion and all that be more of a thing. Because I've seen it happen exactly twice. Um, not in terms of desertion, I've seen that happen a few times. But I mean, in terms of the mechanic actually coming into play, that's what the idea was behind my first two runs there. So, in the very first one I did, that no-skill run, people were getting knocked out all the time, fights were being won by the end of the teeth. And generally, there was a lot of just barely scraping by, and yeah, that situation sucks, so it totally makes sense that people are gonna go and desert. It took a lot for them to do that, and I really doubt the, you know, the financial situation here is so dire that people are happily getting knocked unconscious on a pretty much daily basis, um, and then going to, you know, go fight their own people. I'm pretty sure that, uh, they might be a little bit upset by that, you know, seeing people drop left and right all the time, uh, because there were quite a few losses in that run. And actually, one of my most long-term people ended up deserting right at the very end. Which, yeah, it's like, okay, we're gonna go invade the biggest monument to your country there. Yeah, that, it totally makes sense for him to leave. But that was, I mean, it was cool for that stuff to happen. I'm trying to say here? Alright, single target only. I kinda... I don't wanna try this out. Okay, yeah. I'll give you a turn. They're bond mates. They can share turns. Um, can I gag you? No. Immediately, one of the uh, 
one of the comments. Can, can you just be gagged and shut up? <laughs> but no, um... I don't know. I don't know how much uh, that can actually be changed. Um, from what I saw... Oh, never mind. Not doing that. Um, you know what, whatever. Just charge for the leader. Um... Pretty much from what I saw, there were a few adjustments made to that uh, for the CV mod. Again, from what little I could understand about that thing, considering, you know, all in friggin' Japanese and whatnot. So it's all secondhand of secondhand information of somebody who also doesn't understand language. So that's dandy. Uh, you know what? Knights can't seem to stay on the ground. But, uh, but no, from what I understand, it had actually done the exact opposite, to the point where pretty much everybody joins you all the time. As I understand, they even let Lenar uh, survive his uh, stab wound on the neutral route. I understand that Ravnus just kind of shows up and forces herself onto the team. Um, that sort of thing. I'm gonna rip it, how would... But no. I don't know. I just, I just would like for the weird choices that otherwise don't really affect stuff to, uh, to matter. Like, actually one of the biggest ones, I think, uh, is the one with the uh, pirate treasure there. Like, oh, you're gonna take a hit to your chaos frame there, and I guess feel some sort of okay feelings. But okay, you just went through all that effort to get your dang pirate class. So why are you not taking that dang class mark, as well as a bunch of other items that are super difficult to get? And a crap ton of cash, when the explicit reason that everybody went there was the cash. And they basically said, look, this is morally fine, because you're basically stealing back stolen stuff. You could even argue that this is just the legal way to do stuff. But, uh... But yeah. I don't know. I just don't think in this setting there would be a huge chaos frame drop um, from people in terms of stealing from pirates, because they seem to be massive douches. Um, I mean, realistically, pirates sure had a... Uh, had a lot of uh, perks and whatnot for people that were in their ranks and whatnot, but still, it's not something that you wanted to have showing up. Alright. Josephine, I'm gonna need you to stop shrugging off all my damage, if you could. Because, oh my goodness, you are being very, very inconsiderate with your lack of being on the ground and ending this fight now. Yeah, that sounds weirdly suspicious, doesn't it? Alright, uh... Murder Tate. You be... I don't know. Word of Pain? Yes, you can. A hurtful amount of damage. We can have Ravnus and everybody else just pile on her. Make it that scene from the Matrix. Or, like a Matrix. Alright, there goes one of my horses. I was thinking plan B here. I was gonna try and knock that guy off the roof. I'm gonna have to keep Ace around for smacking people off roofs. Probably should go for a Mother's Blessing here, but I'm expecting the fight to end. Thank you, Robot Denim. I should probably take you off AI control now, shouldn't I? Hmm, phenomenally useless. You oh, right. Adam Sane set as a ranged unit. That would probably cause a problem, huh? Thunder Beast. Not quite enough for a kill here. 
be fair, he's using a slightly outdated sword at the moment. But oh well, this should be the end anyway. Yep. Somehow, I don't think you can spare her. Oh well. <laughs> get a helmet, get, get some levels. Oh, everybody's leveled up because of the clerics. That's what's going on. Alright. Um, any story stuff that popped up from that? This one's kind of a funny story. But oh well. Uh, so I'll be coming back next time, presumably after doing all the fortresses. Yeah, you, you have to meet him over at Crit and I. Don't believe I can actually meet him there yet. Nope. I have to go do all the fortresses. So that one... Don't remember if Crimsby has a fortress. I think it might have one right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's one right here, actually, now that I think about it. That one, that one. This one all the way friggin' over here. And then, yeah. Let's see, is that one of them? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's six fortresses, so. But there were eight for some reason, but whatever. So. Yeah, there is one over there. Um, at any rate, I'll come back at that point and um, continue on. Or I might just grind all the way up to 30 and do some of those fun tactics videos for a little bit and continue on. But whatever. One way or another, uh, I'll see you in the next bit.